When people talk about the works of Jin Yang, the first that probably come to mind are classics like The Smiling, Proud Wanderer, Demigods and Semi-Devils, and The Return of the Condor Heroes. However, this time, we want to focus on Jin Yang's first work, The Book and the Sword. Although this work may not be as widely recognized as his other ones, it still contains rich character development and unique narrative style worthy of our careful appreciation and discussion. Among the three versions of the book and the sword, each one has its unique qualities. In the afterword of the book, Mr. Jin Yang mentioned that he referred to some works of his predecessors when writing this book. For readers familiar with the world of martial arts, they might feel some subtle differences between certain elements and other works. However, whether these differences originate from the initial intention of creation or the influence of references is hard to determine. Interestingly, the portrayal of female characters in this work differs significantly from Jin Young's subsequent works. Especially, he concentrated some character scenes into a complete narrative unit in this work, and then moved on to the next character story. For example, Liu Anzi did not have a strong presence at the beginning and even showed no significant difference compared to Zhou Qi. However, as the plot progressed, particularly in the Iron Gull Manor incident, Liu Anzi's character became more and more threes-dimensional, and the difference from Zhou Qi became evident. Readers might initially belittle the image of the Red Flower Society. Without a doubt, under the leadership of Jiang Jin, this group appears somewhat foolish. They are inadequate in handling matters, yet exceptionally good at wreaking havoc. Despite multiple warnings, Jiang Jin stubbornly sticks to his actions. However, as the plot progresses, readers might develop some sympathy and understanding for this group. For instance, when they fought against the three demons of the East and Zhang Zhaozhong, the intelligence, bravery, and determination they showed would lead readers to reassess them. Speaking of Princess Fragrance, she might be the most controversial character. Her purity and simplicity to a certain extent are hard to accept. Readers might be puzzled when they read that Jin Yang put the actual photo of Fragrant Concubine at the beginning of the book. This disparity between reality and fiction might make readers feel out of place during the reading process. However, this also reflects Jin Yang's subtlety and delicacy in character creation. Besides character portrayal, the handling of history in the book is also fascinating. For instance, the book mentioned that Qian Long might be Han, and the story of Yang Zheng's blood drops, these are tied to some folk stories and rumors. Even though they are not factual, this way of integrating history with fiction adds fun and depth to the story. Looking back at the book and the sword, this work is not only Jin Yang's first, but also the bud and experiment of his style. It gives us not just a fascinating plot and rich characters, but also profound thinking about human nature, history, and society. For Jin Yang's readers, this work is undoubtedly worth careful appreciation. Just like his other works, the book and the sword also reflects common themes in Jin Yang's works, loyalty, love, and the conflicting values of morality. In this work, readers can see the early forms and applications of these themes. One perspective of viewing this work is as a story about searching and understanding one's identity. As we see the growth and transformation of characters like Liu Anzi, Yu Yu Tong, and Princess Fragrance, we are also exploring their inner worlds and identity recognition. This exploration of self-identity is not only embodied at the personal level of the characters, but also reflected in the social and historical context they find themselves in. As they face larger social forces like the Red Flower Society and the Qing Dynasty regime, their identities and roles also evolve accordingly. Then there is Princess Fragrance. Her simplicity and purity create a contrast with other characters to some extent. Her image reflects Jin Yang's unique view on female characters and his in-depth depiction of the bright and dark sides of human nature. In this work, readers can also see Jin Yang's exploration of moral values. As characters pursue love, loyalty, and justice, they also have to face the contradictions and conflicts between individuals and the collective, love and responsibility, power and morality. These contradictions and conflicts not only increase the tension of the plot, but also make the choices and decisions of the characters richer and deeper.